re ramotsi go ba motho wa khopetse go ke ramotsi go tla go amogela sechaba se gore atle a re amogele as the as the leader is coming through is so our i was going to request that eh uh, tshogoza gok uh, the traditional healers who are seated there at the back eh uh, must come right through and sit aba gona ka mo bolelo ye nngwe ga pagape ya mono afrika borwa ile gore re bolela mara but the people who lie in language ba ba beng ka mo tjing bya ka ge ile gore mo la lutjing gona o duletse le baka la gore set e ka mogoba ile mo ke bona ba tlo go thoma ba itsibishe gore mongwe le mongwe gore mangti mang when we finish with the introduction then mayor a uh, maripe will then come up and uh, introduce uh, and welcome us thank you gere sena go fetsa ramotsi maripe o tla nama atle atle ari amogele le gore fa mabidi a marara ya leboga thank you very much chairperson my name is mkolisi sokacha i am a member of the portfolio committee on health i'm from the northern cape San Bonani Ninjali Ikamala Muna Lady Chirwa I'm from Mamilodi in Gauteng in Pretoria and I'm also a member of this portfolio committee Good morning my name is Kenneth Jacobs I am from the West Sand Cape and I'm a member of this portfolio committee thank you Tobel Matimba Minjani Nai nai fogil. Vitora mi nai chiri zimnyai. I'm a member of portfolio committee of on health. I'm a member of the parliament. Thanks. Khoto. San Bonan. Ningu mama umatalena tutuzi le sengwa. Umamnuangu ngikamga kwa Zulu Natal ngililu ngage lale komiti ya bongi. O, togo za nboko oku. Jumalang, kanjani, avosheni, mda. My name is Lindy Wilson. I am a member of the Portfolio of Health in the National Assembly and I am from Limpopo. Thank you very much, Program Director. Linda Lagagin Namang and Amaribe. Gimea Rawa, Drobo Arena Yazani. Gihubejore Gitlofa, a word of welcome on behalf of the people of Zanin. Let me take this opportunity to acknowledge and welcome the chairperson of Portfolio on Health from. National Dr. Tomo and your entourage. Welcome and acknowledge the presence of the chairperson of Portfolio on Health in Limpopo Province, Honorable Leswafu Joshua Matlong, and your entourage from the province. Rina Gaujala Bili, Ishaweta. Rangir by Naba Shinto, by Rabili Bari Naba Sejo, our traditional leadership, representatives of various royal councils gathered here today in Mupani. Leadership of clinics in various rural villages. Would also want to bring it to our attention that we have got many clinic committees that are functional. We have got home-based carers that are actually dealing with issues that are related to health. And it will be an advantage that today they'll be having an opportunity of raising 
the issues related to the national health insurance. Just to briefly share, as I welcome, I visited Deben in August. I fell sick when I was in Deben. My medical aid, when I went to the doctor, they said it was exhausted. My medical aid was exhausted. I went to the, uh, to the doctor, I paid 450 rands. I had a hiccup. They checked me, they said they wanted to give me an injection. They wanted extra 150 rand for the injection. From there, I went to the pharmacy. They wanted 640 rands for the medication. I'm a mayor I was able to afford. And I asked myself, what if I was in a position of an unemployed person in that circumstances? It is for that reason that we have been saying to the residents and the population of Zanin that let's go to where there is a public participation on national health insurance to be able to listen to the advantages and the benefits therefore, thereof because our revolution and our struggle has been about the equality or the equitable distribution of resources to the people of South Africa. And we believe your program as you are coming to Zanin in Mpani is cordially welcomed and we are hoping that at the end of the event we shall have benefited and we are going to make a meaningful contribution so that as you are going to decide, be able to stand up and make your inputs at the time when you are requested to do so. You are cordially welcomed to Zanin. Thank you very much. Thank you. As we are getting an interpretation done, we are requesting the mayor to take his seat there so that uh, uh, this really remains a parliamentary leadership. But let's get a complete translation. Ramutsi Uamurechi Le Shabalaba to Lele Rumo, or Ramurejika Mugawa, Dim Jari Kukile, Potataka Severona. Says Butoka or Ukata Kubiki Tabaye NHI. Kiona in Wari Tabaya NHI Shijemu, Kitabay no or Itlo Holaba Banji. Kawari or Malova Mo Uway Liga Deben. Hai Liga Deben Alika Deben and Amalwala. Ralwa Lamola Aswana Lakur at Ature Ainga Kei. Hafita Naka Nakayar Awa Arbone Karta Mitkal E Trebar Yo. Hape medical aid to allow Serikitala, or Sana Silo. And a Maba or Runa Milu Uncha Chelete, who patella four hundred and fifty rand, who patella four fifty rand, Yangaka, Fetch of Patalangaka, one number four fifty or no patechi, Ibi Yadira, six sita matumu. Mara, Hapa Wunyaka Chua, now Santo would have you injection. But oh, injection alone, a patella got three go, who patella hundred and fifty rand, and chaff hundred and fifty rand till injection. Half a thousand hundred and fifty injections. Shuno and Luatoa, Bamufile, Lingwale Lella prescription at Tarwanga clinic where chemising. Rafita chemising, chemising about six hundred rand. So they have one tell Teller Ray Valagam Garnet, one thousand one hundred and fifty. Bele Mea Rauri. Kerra Nivello on Iwa Naki Mea Raki Honda Weed. Was a very Kinyana, Uba Kluba Kai. Anamu get about NHI. But what the Kulu Abadia Kubuka and about the Babili Fasi, while Ata Teba Quetta via NH Iwari, Egahona Wimula Mutukai, Egahona Wuri in Chamutuka, Rapisho Kai, Hewudiera in Viali Viali, Ramogele Hili, Ramogala Kramutuare, now Uriawa, Bofolorang, Lokolorang, Nchang de Kupolo, Revule de San. When I was introducing myself, I, I forgot to mention that uh, I come from Guazul Natal. Uh, also, I come from in that province in Deben. What happened to you, Honorable Mayor? Please don't hold it against us in Deben. It could have happened anywhere else in South Africa. Uh, 
awa o se re swa re krachi wa re ku a ga solo ga ba ntshuma ga botsi e ka go diegela ka ile kae kana mo South Africa mo lo ngona and uh, maybe we will reflect on those during the course of the day i have forgotten to also introduce and bring to this meeting an attention to us that there are some other uh, officials who are here from the department of health eh ke lebetse ke no shirega go le tsebisa gore eh eh ga na mo gare ga rena rena le ba ba tlankedi ba bangwe ba go tswa gorong ya mapelo let me start with the province if there are any or there are members of uh, of, of the provincial legislature who have been introduced i hope the, can you see them again the members of the provincial legislature who are here with us eh ere ngo tsame ka province ke go ine ba go tswa province ba emelele awa shibale ba emeletsi yes may i see if there is a leadership from the province in health officials from health in the province of mpopo ba eta pele ba maphilo ba go tswana mo provincing ba ke ba e gona ba ka emela le le bona re ba bone yeah okay delayed or not here yet may i recognize the presence of the leadership of the national department of health if they can all stand up maloko ale a boeta pele bya maphilo go tswa mushong wa gare e shibale ba emeletsi okay Thank you very much. We, yeah, also, huh? we also have in our midst a leader who comes from the presidency, uh, Professor Professor Olive Shisan. Mo ga ga rena ga perna le wa go tswa presidency Professor Shisan. They didn't see you just to how uh, pan. Ariam mon e shulo e meletsi. Yeah. I hope she's monitoring government, not monitoring us as parliamentarians. I didn't ask her but maybe she has a capacity to do both. Ke tsepa gore o lekola tsa parliament ga le ko le rena re le NHI mo ga ga rena mo. Eh our citizens what has brought us here is what took us to eh uh, where were we yesterday? We were in Bembe district yesterday and today we are in Mopane district tomorrow we are in the uh, Sekukuni district and on Monday we are in Capricorn district Sir city chiche moki ena mababili ena taba ya NHI ma ba re re le Bembe ma motlhare mo go sasara ga Sekukuni ka mantaga re tla ba re Capricorn we are here sent by the speaker of the of the national assembly re itle mo ka thumo ya speaker sa national assembly who received a bill from the national department of health yo a khweditse go molao ka kanywa go tswa gorong ya bosetshaba ya mapilo the appropriate committee therefore to deal with that is the members that are seated on this table committee e swantse go shomana le yona taba yeo this is the third province we are visiting we have to complete all provinces coming into meetings like this listening to you ye ke province ya ya boraro e rietelang re swantse gore no re no sepela province ka province re eta re thele tsa badudi mabapile taba ye before any bill can change into law it needs us as parliamentarians to touch base and get to these public hearings for you to educate us and get your views on it pele ga ge molao ka kanywa o ka ta wa fetolwa molao re swanetse gore re no tla re tle go lena sechaba lena batho re tle re dule fase le lena re 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 ele tsane le go fatholla na mola le mola gore ditabatsi di ka dudishwa ka lefe the name of this bill lina la mola o ka kanywa o is embedded on a on a principle of universal health coverage as said by many countries universal health coverage le ka gare ga taba ya sekema sa maphelo se se akaretjago 
in South Africa, this universal health coverage has been termed National Health Insurance, NHI. Kamu no Africa bora se kema se sa ho akareja. Sibitwa National Health Insurance. Kemu kaba na mabai di abariki NHI ka akroni. It says all South Africans should and must have a quality of health, young and old, rich or poor. Iri, ma Africa buraka mukagaona, aswani chukur abele ma pilo a quality ba kalabe kuba ba swa ba humi le ba kutoka. It the bill proposes to correct this anomaly. Uh, that the Honourable Mayor has also alluded to. I came to say that the Honourable Mayor has also alluded to the Honourable Mayor has also alluded to the Honourable Mayor has also alluded to the Honourable Mayor has also alluded that in this country you are likely to get the best of the best health care if you have got a very, a very deep pocket. The Honourable Mayor Uhecha mapilo ama buti wa uba wa uhecha togo melo e buti ama pilo. He yuri kaka na pinya kodi randa di melabroko. The very sick and the very poor will not necessarily be guaranteed a good life and a long life. Watu ba kula la kudu le ba basi ba kula sabo na ba felele chai lori. Kaba kuni kurebata ba ba beli bo pilo biyo bo buti kaur bo pilo biyo bo buti bo apatele lo. The bill intends to deal with this notion that it's only those who have got money who are able who have got resources who can buy this commodity called health. Mola o kaka nyo ulibele chita ba kuri kuska ba fela ba uba na kuli dichelete. Ibe bana baba kule bupulu yobo bozi baba kona ngo yiteke la silo kule fela lugo patele la silo sese sebozi se baringi bupilo ma pilo. The bill proposes that you must create a fund, a pool of where we pull all resources into this fund. Pre people before people get sick, it is a prepaid. Once this fund has been created, it must be governed properly for the benefit of South Africans and hopefully and should be free of any corrupt activities in managing the funds. Ge se kwa ma se se sena go go tlamiwa. Se swantse gore e besa go tlokomela ma Africa borwa ka moka ga ona e bile se dirilwe ka tsela yeo e leng gore. Se ta ba se thibilo mashoba ka moka ga ona go se na khona galo ya bo khodu bya bo menemene. The bill is founded, among other places, on Section 27 of the Constitution of our country, where it says every citizen has got a right to health. It is Now, that leaves us in a bit of a limbo where the, within its available resources to achieve the progressive realization of the right of, of access to healthcare services. The bill aims to create a financial protection of all South Africans in the in the event of illnesses. I can be said it. The bill proposes a single purchaser and a single payer for health services. 
mutu oti wa goreka the refugees the inmates in correctional services and uh, for those who have who seek political asylum to be given emergency medical services but to ba ba tlo go kholega mo ka molao ka kanywa wo ke ka moka ba dudi ba Africa bo rwa ke ka moka batho bona ba le ba ba tswa ntle ba o ele go ba chabi ba o ele gore ba tlo fiwa fela ke go na le taba ya tshoganetjo wa itlo a paretsa ga pele batho ba ile gore ba di tronko itlo a paretsa batho ka moka ga bona ba ba leng ka mogare ga mo mabung a Africa bo rwa the bill proposes that all south africans should be registered with our ids so that we know that around uh, lunyenya hall the clinic that serves this community how many residents are there who are they who is going to be born tomorrow also to be registered because it envisages a primary health care model in its approach molao ka kanwa o shishinya gore go swanetse gore go register ba batho ka moka ga bona a ke re ke lefe mo thala ke re gana mo lenyanye go ba batho ba re leng ka mogolong re ba registera ka moka ga bona re kgone go tseba gore re ishu molao ka kanwa o khavara batho ba ba ka ka le gore le ba ba sa tlo go belegwa ge go belegwa ba ba swale bona ba registeri ba ba ngwadishwe gore go kgone go tsebega gore se rutu se se le bane le sechaba se se ka ditlogo tshe kete kete tsa batho the bill indicates that there shall be a primary health care approach so that uh, we do not wake up in the morning with just uh, one day's cough and go to a pulmonologist a specialist who deals with serious lung diseases molao ka kanyo o re re swantse gore re re lebelele go lekudishisha taba ya tiragatjo le tshumisho ya dilotse ka gore a o swanela go dutsoga go sasafu go dutsoga fere go dutsoga go gotholanyana o gotholanyana bana ba re awa ke swantse gore ke kwa ngakeng yela ka kwa sanini ba re ke specialist sa maswafu a e go tsheka maswafu a ka but we need to start at the base and then go to the so that uh, if it is bigger than the clinic you get get referred to the gp who also must be part of the nhi and they must then refer you to higher hospitals re swane tlo re thome fase re thome matho so re thome clinic ing clinic ge e bona e le gore ya palo bana ba re e ya ngakeng ngakela ge e bona e le gore go bothata e be e gona e reng awa e ya go ba le o ka reng ba ba dilenyana go fetanna e le bana ba le ba di specialist the benefit of that will come to provinces like Lipopo so that you do not get residents of Gauteng for a small cough going to Steve Biko hospital but you would allow complicated cases of provinces like Limpopo to refer patients there to access specialists of a central hospital molao ka kanwa o tlo a paretsa taba tsa go swana le taba gore ga e ba le ba le mpopo e be gore go le le mpopo go khona go kholega le mpopo motho mo le go ka tawa ya ga o te fela e be gore dilo ka moka ga tsona tshe o tshe o di amago mapelo ti khola batho ka moka ka go swana di province ka moka ga tsona there are committees that are proposed as a part of the governance structure firstly is to say the minister shall appoint a board of directors to administer the fund gona le di committee ya go fapafapana tshe gore ga tsona gona le engwe e le gore go tlo ba le board e le gore e tlo khethwa ya thwalwa gore e be yona e leng ya go tlokomela sekhwama se the board will subsequently appoint a ceo to run operations on a day to day Boto itana maya thwala mothanke di petishi go ta go phethagatsa mishumo ya le tjatji le le tjatji ya 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 yona boto yeo the desire and uh, not only of this committee but of many south africans that this must be credible honest south africans who are going to look after our funds and Ma not do and not do like we hear of other funds being taken up through corruption maikemishetjo ke gore motho o a tlong go thwalwa mo 
e swanetse go ba mo Afrika borwa go tshepega e seng lotseni di phisha marriage re felang re di kwa tsa taba tsa to the committee seated on passages se ena ma Afrika zonga la e holweni a le nyenye la bala ku vula vula sokare e na o be slow ba kola a staleke ngala a e sengolo ena ale Thank you, Chairperson. Mfambisi wantiru wako umaleka mfumu wale shikari. The one from the national. Nalo wala ka province ya ina. And from the province. Naleka Dr. Chisano. Naleka and also Dr. Chisano. Loko ni imi hale nukutala labati politiki vari protocol observe. Mwose time the politicians say protocol observed. Se minanta kombe la minlangu utamanuwona inkwenu mwose. What I will do, I will ask you to look at me. I hope you all see me. Nda kombe la eku ima woko inkwenu. I would like us to do like this with our hands. Kelele ni nyana. Let's press ourselves. That's my hug. I'm hugging you in that way. Minalo ininga ima ale no ni Prince Gulukulu Matevula. I'm Prince Gulukulu Matevula. Lo ininga chairperson ya controlesa ya Vembe. I'm a chairperson of Vembe controlesa. Tolo na angwi na le Vembe li. So we were with you with you at Vembe yesterday. Kambe ano sungula kubona bili liya. I it was for the first time for me to see the bill. So during the night I read the bill. So not talk anything about it because I saw it for the first time yesterday. So what I can say now. So what I can say now. Na uluwani iumukela imaboko mambiri. We embrace this uh, bill with all our hands. Nasona loko mivula le swa kuta sungula i 2026. Si bona When you say it will start by 2026, to us it's so far. Ikuwa vangwa nwa ina itazai wunda M7. Ila kuvona anya utira. Because some of us will die before seeing that. We want to see this weekend before we die. Kambi loko ikai enda sweso msamu wa shitulu. Kuna sundu shilesu ilawaka kutundu shi. While doing that, Honorable Chairperson, do you want to advise? Meri mifamba eka wanu inkwa avu. You say you are working, you are going to all people. Kambi loko ilangutisa kutivisa lukuwa ni kukumeka kunga fikeleli kase eka wanu. But the way you announce it. Not many, not all people happen to get the information. Loko ilangutisa ave mbeto lo kuwe na wanu la vanga vansi ka gidi. He said that ave mbe there were more than, there were less than 1,000 people. Loko imitwa la mivulavula, mivulavuli isifunda nsongo swa limpopo. You also spoke about districts, limpopo districts. We want to advise you also that Limpopo has five districts. Waterberg is not mentioned here. We just want to know why Waterberg is not here. As, as uh, leaders, traditional leaders, we we also lead what is called Cheka Impilo. It's led by controllers. Waterbeck has a lot of mines, many diseases because of those mines. And we are closing on the 29th of November. When are you going to go to Waterbeck? So, so before you close, we ask that you include Waterbeck. Loko ya ema tweni mtamu wa shitulu. Moving forward, Chairperson. Loko ni saili bilile yuan. When I read the bill. 
Yikomba lesu ti magata kona ingakuto sungula enta ti tahan. Because it seems like it's from up down. Itwa mi bula bula hi board le inga tawa irko na iti rai vekiwa iholog. You are mentioning the board which will be put there by the minister. Kambi ti magati umelela la ahansi. But unfortunately, things are happening from local sphere. Our wish is that we want to see the, the hospital boards working and being paid like the board you are talking about. Clinic committees also working and being paid. And those who are working hard, the home-based carers. They are working hard, but we don't see them being compensated. As, as traditional leaders. When we look at Chekampilo, yeah, we become so frightened. Because we say we are leaders because of our people. We are not happy every weekend talking at the funerals bearing our own people. And environment so worse is so dirty. During those years, oh, so when we see those napings being in one day there was an elephant with those uh, pampas at Kruger. Tourists also are not pleased when the, our, our environment is so dead. Ash or buy pampas, uh, you are free to leave. Nalo <laughs> uh, The nurses and doctors must attend to after this immediately on her. Lesh is combination she and Daku, she melaye, Kuba Kuna, Lesh, Afaneleko, Kuma, Ayalam Saso, Madogo de la Bavuleta. This insurance. Because I like this insurance. Hobani, it was a Hunaba Twenyham. into the machine. Because my mom choke. They say the machines are get choked. So this insurance. So this insurance, I am going to join it. Because of the pains that I have day and day, I'm a hard worker. Naturally, I'm a hard worker. When the leader, when the leader, when the leader, this corruption and would say that uh, you must make sure that all the doors to the corrupt activities are closed through uh, into this national health insurance of the session a medical aid is a complementary role it will have its own complementary role uh, Chairperson, you have said that uh, the medical aid is, has its complementary role. To, to have a complementary role. Maybe I didn't hear you mention anything about traditional healers. Maybe you have said something about it and I didn't hear anything, but uh, I think you didn't mention anything. Yeah, Shumani Kobako recommend 
The last, the other thing is just recommendations. The, we are seeing these documents for the first time today here. And uh, All the documents that I have already seen here are in Sisutu. I come back in future. Maybe the mistake is with the translations. So I recommend that next time, please request translations for the documents to be translated to, to Shitsonga also. Because you have said that even here there are Batsonga and Basutu. And na engeta na kambi niku ni engeta le sinda vezita banga suvula ba contralet. In addition to what the the the, the uh, contralets I have already said. 2026 yile kule shara menge sukoto kuvuisa mo e wu 2026 na sasa next year taka 20 instead of 2026 more half yuba 2023. Is it not possible for us to reduce because you said 2026? 2026 is too far. Please, half the years and say 2023. Because 2026 is. Let us say this again. Dr. Drum, you know what I'm saying? Notification of your of the places where you are going to. Uh -huh. the, uh, the doctor, as we have seen, wherever you go, the notifications. Uh, the, the information that gets to the people as notifications. Uh, please use uh, the media that is at your disposal, all of it. Radio, this hall is too small. You cannot say to me, one more I hear, not even a quarter. Uh, this, this is because of uh, because the notifications did not reach the entire population. Uh, you cannot tell me that the people that you see are representing uh, 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 this, uh, this district. So therefore, please use all the available uh, communication systems that you can have, radio, print media, etc. National Congress. Mandela ite kutika under five years. Aba kume free. And then this is a continuity. Yaku, one was South Africa, himkwabo, suba free. Yes, let it be. And we understand it's a long walk to freedom. As you have already indicated, we are here in conclusion to support what the African National Congress is doing. As you have said, that uh, the, pres the former president, Nelson Mandela, indicated that the pregnant women and the children under five will have access to, me to medication. So we are saying, let it continue in that way. Dr. Dromo, the, uh, the head of the portfolio committee, Nationally, Dr. Matro, the head of the portfolio committee provincially, Mayor Maripe, we say thank you and echo here. May God bless you and give you power to continue. Let the Holy Spirit lead in whatever you are doing. Thank you. In conclusion, we thank you, Doc, and you are encouraged. Thank you. ke a leboa sebaka se ke filo sona motshwara marapo thank you very much thank you very much parliamentary channel eh motshwara marapo a rena ke fela ke mona mo tv ni 
Thank you very much, Chairperson, for the opportunity that I'm given. I normally see you on the Pan Parliament's channel. I'm glad to see you now. This is not a joke. I believe this is not a joke, but we are on serious issues. Today, even though I received this document today, but I checked it on Google. If I understand this document correctly, it's a proper document that will be for the rich and the poor, the people of South Africa. When I checked for those who have uh, especially the private hospital, the doctor, but especially Only the rich could be catered for at private hospitals, whereby the doctors were highly educated and knew what they were doing. And then, very level la more, but Babans, Baba Lego, Ravana Silo, Moshuma public hospital but as for black people they were destined to go to the government hospitals or even go clinics and then we just told ourselves that we'll just see when this person returns as a resident of Limpopo when somebody gets ill they would often say they want to go to the Gauteng province Province or Western Cape. It's either in the Gauteng or the Western Province where would you get adequate um, health care. But I come to the the But with regards to the NHI, I believe that we will get equal health care in all the provinces. The other thing I want to find out about this NHI is the following. specialist. Green Pastures, Province. And attractive salaries now. I want to find out that there are good doctors here in Limpopo, but they live for greener pastures. They sometimes go to provinces like Gaute. So I want to find find out if in order for them not to live here, would, are you going to offer them better offers? I want to find out The other thing is with regards to the clinics and the, our hospitals, they are not as attractive as the private hospitals. The problem is with infrastructure. <laughs> It's a problem for people who don't have medical aids because they end up going to the public hospitals and they are not, you're not even sure if they will come back. They, especially like the woman who was here who took who told us her story about her illness. And then uh, right to quality health care is a matter of must. Whether they go, go private or they go public uh, health care system. 
I believe that healthcare should be equal, whether we go to a private clinic or even go, we go to uh, government hospitals. Then, kita kupela parliament yari na wuri. Ite make a show yaguru ubeli tika tika ano magaringa the private hospitals and the and the, and the public hospital. I would humbly request our parliament to make sure that there will be equal access and equal health care in all regarding those who have and they have not. We uh, share the whole South Africa unless otherwise by longer number two mungu bona they are filthy and filthy rich and ibile ba selfish. Banyaka ubona ele bona ba itri ba longer number ba chenjor ba pele. Kisho yar everyone is going to agree to NHI. I am certain that all every every person will be for the NHI unless then for those who have maybe they might not be for the NHI. Ama felel kitlo buti sagore na traditional healers charena di wela kai under this NHI. Lastly, I want to know where our if where our traditional healers fall under within this NHI. Thank you. ke rata o le dumedisa ka mokana lena ke thoma ka batho ba semoya dingaka tsa rena ke le dumedisa i like to greet everyone i would like to start with our traditional healers healers batho ba semoya spiritual people spiritual people good morning ka ba ka dumedisa le baruti ka mokana bona ba di kreke ka moka greeting to pastors all from all churches as well I greet our honorable members from parliament. And all, everyone who's here from um, different politics organizations. Thank you. Yo aiming mo. My name is Ke David Mohanya. David Mohanya. Kaye Vanzeba Mo Lenyenye. Yes, I'm known in Lenyenye. I grew up under the Sefanya name. My real surname is Malaji. I'm the last king of the uh, Malaji clan from Palabora. Ibile kinamu profeta wa kerekebar ke light of the people prophetic ministry. I'm also a prophet from the church light of the people. Light Prophetic of the people ministry. ministry. Don't be surprised when the people laugh. Although they knew, know me as Mukhanya, but they don't know my secret. I know those who are laughing, they know my work in the community. I know those who are laughing, they know my work in the community. I managed to heal some of them with cancer. Some could not give birth, but they can give birth now. We have evidence in case you would seek for it. Some are unemployed, but they are employed now. Some were not married, but they are married now. But they are married now. I'd like to thank God about what he did in Linyenye. I was on a process to lodge a case against the Department of Health. The reason is because I was not going to threaten them, but it was something like a solution. Uh, according to my spiritual level, I met five leaders whom we all know that they've passed away. So I am here to declare the message that they give it to me to you. As I was saying, I am a prophet and a king. So anytime God, he take me to different spiritual places. Where I met our former leader who passed away, Dr. Nelson Mandela. And he was with other kings that I cannot mention now. 
Because of time. So I'm here to declare a simple message and I need the parliament. To take it very seriously because it can reduce more than 40 billion that we are using to buy the medication. As you see, I'm wearing a white gown that is written Mr. Roofing Youth Project. Mr. Rufin Youth Project, which is one of the, uh, the, the tasks that Nelson Mandela had given to me when I met him in the spirit. He said his children, they are suffering right now. I must make sure that I challenge the government, especially the Department of Health. Whereby we found that there was a serious situation in our, our, our country concerning air pollution and global warming. There is a lot of money that the government is going to use whether you will be able to heal the people or buy medication. So the message was very simple from our former president Nelson Mandela. He said to me, if I meet one of the parliament people, I must make an application that in future it can help the parliament and the country as a whole. The request, it was simple. He gave me, uh, I'm sorry, he gave me a white stone whereby it is in the book of Revelation chapter 2 verse 17. And he said to me, the problem of South Africa on poverty, unemployment, and confusion it is because the government itself they rejected and they forgot and they don't, they don't recognize the power of God. So as I am here I am here to make an application because what I'm telling you it is true. Five years from now if this request doesn't be replied, whether we are educated or not, our country it is going down. And we all know that. So there is a solution. Because everything started on the spirit, which is on the air. And we know the reason why the air is polluted. But the problem, we don't have a solution. And the government, it gather together every time. But they don't have a solution. So my request, it was, may the government recognize the prophet. May the government recognize the prophet. And give us chance that it is written in the book of Leviticus chapter 13. Chapter 13. Chapter 13. Where the Bible says, and I believe they believe in the Bible. And the Bible says, when there is an air pollution, it will cause a moisture. And when it causes a moisture, it will cause something, we call it a mold. Prophetically, a mold, it is a, it is a demon. But scientifically, they say it is a mold. There is a, a one mold even in this house is here, as I speak. They call it Sanctuboretius Botam. Sanchi Botirias Botam. So, thank you very much. Thank you. So, this Sanchi Botirias Botam, it can cause a severe sickness and diseases. 
Last year, it killed 600 children under the age of five. That it is the reason why I have to start this Mr. Roofing Youth Project. We are going around the communities, especially the villages. As we heard that there is insurance and there are those who can afford and those who cannot afford. And you are here to help those who cannot afford. So, but there are those who are staying far away from your messages or information. Whereby we make sure that we go and reach them. As I speak now, we have about four people of the age of 90. Um, Pastor, Pastor, let me request because uh, you are running down through the whole proposal. All right. That uh, you bring it to as see. a document. Yes. Because uh, it's to government and not just to us alone. Yes, yes. So that once we receive it. All right. Please, that proposal, write down your details in it. I will thank you for that. It becomes a proposal that you are making to government. Yes. I will send it to other government thank leaders you. who are bigger than me, then we'll respond to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'll thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Chairperson Dr. Dlomo. My name is uh, Matome Nguana. Matome. Matome. Yes, I, I'm a government employee. And therefore, I've got the medical aid. Gems. Gems. Uh, you see, Chairperson, I always ask myself why poverty was not declared a sin in the Bible. Especially institutionalized poverty. Because that is what we blacks were subjected to. Like I said, I'm a, a member of a medical aid, therefore. I was I'm able to access health care services. I'm able. Oh, sorry, yes. I, I, I believe this bill is long awaited. I'm not sure there is members of staff, some of them who I see they're talking, that they are not able to hear that behind them there's some noise. Please can you assist? Behind where we are seated, there's noise. Uh, Chairperson, I think we are here because of poverty. That's why we have this bill. Because if we were not poor, we'll, all of us will have access to health care services. This bill seeks to uh, mediate between the rich and the poor in terms of healthcare services. But, are, but, I'm, but I'm aware that uh, those who are benefiting out of the exorbitant medical services will, will oppose this bill. That is why my preamble was why poverty, poverty was not declared a sin. Because, because those who are exploiting our medical uh, services will have had a shame in terms of the exorbitant fees that we are paying. And I am happy that Parliament is here so that we must change the status quo. And also share that uh, this, uh, uh, I think the six years from now to 2026 is too long. 2026. Uh, if it was possible, I will ask Parliament to short circuit the processes. 
nke go khonega be ke tla khopile gore parliament e ke e fokotse nako e tshome pele ga nako yeo because many of us will have died because of uh, poor health services ka bakala re ba re bontshi ba re na re tla re shetse re tlogile ka bakala yona taba ya ditirelo tsa maphelo tse le go re dia fokola chairperson i don't want to waste this uh, uh, session's time but i'm here to support the bill agina go tsinya nako modula stulo marke mo ke tlo thekha molao ka kanyo and i've scanned through the bill ke ba dile molao ka kanyo bo and I will then refer us to go and check the founding principles and the objectives of the bill. Because it's to make sure that whether you are poor or rich, your life is important. Life is life irrespective of your status. And this bill seeks to guarantee that life is life without a status. And again, I'm saying I'm supporting the bill wholeheartedly. And I'm prepared to be part of the insurance. And lastly, I'll ask the uh, I'll ask the committee to check if the you see I'm not, I'm not like I said I scanned the bill, but just check so that we are able to regulate the practices as 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 they are now. In, because even when we have got a medical aid, come this time of November, you'll, you'll find that you don't even have money to go and consult. And also to advise members of the community that with the NHI, the status quo will change. I support the bill. Nelson Ramukhola, Nels, my name. My name is Nel Ramukhola. I will apologize for my voice. I'm contaminated by flu. I'm not going to waste time as the presenter, Dr. Dlomo, was spot on. I'm a member of the South African Communist Party. South African Communist Party. A proud socialist without shame. I Chairperson, it is only a capitalist state or capitalist mentality which will reject this noble project. I personally, and as a representative of the party in this region, present that we wholeheartedly support this project. A government which cares will seek momentous footing even in sliding stones to make this project a success. I would like to indicate unequivocally that I support the latter speaker Matumingwana and Mafumulele that 2020, 2026 is too far. 2026, we humbly request for the speed implementation of this project. I'm lobbying all organizations and their supporters. Nekuchetela mshanga mshanga no enkwa yona ba sekreteri ba yona. 
that they must support this bill because it is for the poor and the worker. There is an idiom which is biblical which says rivers and rivulets are flooded but where is the ark of Noah? The NHI is the ark of Noah. People are dying because they don't have money to access better medication, better health services. We recommend that monopoly capital should bear the brand. Big, big industries and big companies should fund this insurance. The company let the insurance through the taxes. Political leaders should refrain from limelight and um, seeking to present themselves than looking at the poor people. Our concern is currently our clinics and hospitals experiences lack of equipment and shortages of medication. Therefore, it's a worrying factor that says is this NHA going to succeed or collapse? We need an assurance from our government. With those few words, we, are, we want to give you information that you must tell the politician not to defend the defenseless. There are those whom when we tell them that there are no medication or equipment, they come, uh, you know, at blazing and indicate that there's no such. Reality will hunt them. I thank you very much. Thank you. Greetings to all people in this hall. Greetings to all our parliamentarian who visited us. I'm a government employee of the Department of Health. They have covered the, most of the things I wanted to say, but I will just add there and there. They said in say public hospitals, please, there are no medications. That's true. When you work there in the consulting rooms, and then a patient come to consult. When you say there's no medication, they say this one, hey, we know her. She, 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 she's so stingy. She can't give us medication. The current situation. My question is now that we are adding this burden of NHI in the current situation. So are we, are we going to be able to give better service in the, in the coming future? Because there are no medicines. No, no enough ambulances to carry the patients. There are no maintenance of our buildings. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much. The one speaking here. Sambo Grace Tintualo. Sambo Grace Tintualo. No, ma aga wa twelve. From what twelve? Matanda Matevula. Matanda Matevula. Na mishawa ta vitra osiye so Christ wa Nazareth. Amen. Greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Portfolio, amen. Lega health and social development. I mean the portfolio for health and social development. Eh, tani le so shibula bula shinga bula bula. As someone has spoken before, I want to So in our culture, it says, when the, 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 His Majesty has spoken, you, the servants, don't speak a lot after that. I just want to take a few things which hurts me a lot. It's true. We go to clinics, really. That's, there are no medicines there. That is true. There are only chronic medications. I went there yesterday. Someone says asking to go to Jobek. We'll come back in December. At uh, clinic, one minute at clinic. So I was asking a medication just for two months only. They said there's no medication. And the point number two. Number two. Our children are not sleeping. You, the parliamentarians. You are having businesses. They sleep at the shape beans. They don't care about their health. A 14 year child gets a child. And they look around 14 years, I am a grand. Now when I do, I am a grand. Man, I want a man. So when it's 14 years, get grands, and the the child get grands. So who is the child? So I am going to be like, I got a new. Me born in Alabama, business of Lava Shab Sakuma Jala, Kuba, Funako, Upala, Navana, Abaslight Buku, Sospele Gutal and Watafela Scambe. So I'm asking the Department of Health to help us with those who sell liquor that they must close because we, we don't even, our children are not sleeping, they're not even writing their exams. And then Aga in an Aga Aga cabinet and when Shaulonga Ubeka Kunana twenty twenty six men one out laying of Lok Amo reduce Hanyana eight three years, who could twenty twenty three quit a cotta funeg. So you are saying twenty twenty six is the implementation? My one I put in a woman at Samakwalani, Amo Buya, Mofamba. So even you, you can see yourself that, that you are getting old. So make it very quick. So I, I, I thank you very much. in the Kongkoa local area. a general practitioner in Kongkoa, nothing to do with one. I'm Dr. Velem Kosa. I mean, I'm not Dr. De La Velem Kosa. I would like to thank you. The Lago Mekansa Sunene. You are doing a wonderful work. This issue doesn't, be, doesn't concern these ones only. The whole world set in the United Nations. The citizens of this world must get Universal health. Are you the people living in Mars? Uh, sure, we Another thing which I want to also emphasize. Uh, When we take one section like health, there are various 
organizations. When you started the new constitution, you found this country, there were five countries, five independent countries. Venda, Transkai, South Africa. Venda, Transkai, Did you create South Africa with war? No. I end You made arrangements. Oh, So I would like you to consider the organizations which are involved in health care. Uh, the main one is the government. Uh, the main one is the government. Oh, you want to go in Fumo, Fumo. Because public health hospitals. Yes, the better less than Fumo. When somebody's injured at work, that's what they call workmen's compensation run by the government. You don't tell us what's going to happen. There's also motto extent. The government has created a road accident fund. Where do you mention this? There's also uh, private hospitals and clinics driven by medical aid schemes. I hope you are negotiating with them. Yes. Yes. Also, us. I was looking for the first time on this gazette. It's so confusing. It says one of few words. Every person registered with the Health Professional Act. Unless circumstances rendered it impossible for him. Before rendering any services which are not covered by the National Health Insurance Fund. You haven't discussed us with us. What fee must we charge? And we are not a motor mechanic. A motor, make, a motor, you will fix it. If it doesn't work, you can come next month and fix it. We are working with life. Once you go six feet down, and you don't put us clear. There are also other allied health people like private ambulance people. Out a request that uh, these organizations have got their own association. If you could invite them, then you discuss with us. We are ready to assist. Uh, finally, you have brought democracy to our country. Or even brave to tell you our rulers. Because you told us 
who are free to tell you. We have started discussing whether this thing is good or not. My impression from the people talking they say these people are failing now with the present hospital system. Now they are telling us heaven. Will they manage? Again, sorry, finally. Uh, it pains me. When I know you made a sacrifice with your life. Some died. Some used their lives. Until we got this democracy. When I treat people, especially old people, I say, uh, you have high blood pressure, take these medicines, give me whatever, 400 rand, because I do buy stock. And then the following months, I'm, going, I'm giving you a letter so that you take from clinic because it is free. Then they tell me, we have been going there for the last three months. Then I look at it, and I know what hypertension that they do. And uh, sugar diabetes. What I tell them, no cabo. You are in going to Matthew chapter 24. Verse 36. Verse 36. When people ask Jesus, when be my last day? He says, There is nobody who knows the day and time. Even the angels of God. Finally, even himself, the Son of God, does not know his last day. To me, those people are already in the queue. Waiting by, for, for the Lord. Then I start questioning these people sacrifice the Lord. If we add the number of people dying of disease, high blood pressure, sugar, because there's no medicines. Are, are these people not more than what they have suffered when they lost their lives? Please. We know we know when you say 2006 we can see that you are trying to fix the Money side. It needs time. We are hopeful that at long last we will reach Canaan. Thank you. Thank you. Also, now we are going to remont. It was a little more My name is Raymond Koman. I'm from Marubing. Marulene. 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 
problem e rena go le yona ke bolela tabeni ya batho ba go sete ka nene ba o ba sepela ka di wheelchair I'm here representing the people who live with disabilities especially the ones who are on wheelchairs problem e kena go le yona go gore batho ba o sepela ka di wheelchair ba tshara bo thata my problem is that people with wheelchairs have a huge problem nka le for example ka nna I can give you an example myself. Ge le mbona ke sepela so ge ka no dira ga mohlolo ka sepela ka o le tshe. Go e tshofa bjona ke berikisa tso ka le tri. If I can be on the wheelchair I'm going to use the wheelchair while I use my one hand. And ge di tsinyekile mushu ba tia na go gota go ba lokisete ne re a di bona ne re a leka mara re tso re diri. When it's like it's disrepaired it takes a lot of time a long time for government to fix them and we don't know what to do. I believe that since we are here the promises that you are making it's not going to take you more than 3 years for you to help us. We are humbly request. Ke re bona go ika mogwe re ina gana gore o ra re le rena a se rena ba athu ka re ke khale re ya di bona ne re ya leka ne ge di tsinyekile ge re ya mo mmutsho re re gopela re ba tla ba re lokishe ba tia nako ge e robegile we humbly request for you to please assist us because we hope that since you are here maybe you can help us because we have now you know took upon ourselves that we are not as human as others are ke ja 3 months e robegile ba we ba santse gore ba to ba lokise ba te ba di lokise ba tsia nako re ja ndre motho ga ga a dutse go bona a direkile ene ka yena if it takes a long time let's say like 3 months you go to the government they want assist us then what must happen to this person who has to use the wheelchair ben re gopela re lena we humbly humbly request that you please help us because some of us don't even have employment we are not working so we request that you please help us and since you are here today my dream has come true ba re chelele mangwa le doctor mara re chelele mara ka stukulo ba bone they say we must go to the doctors we do that but you will never see them ya re gopela le re thushe please help us ya le bo thank you tobela you are Minimogi Dorin Ramaselele from Greater Litaba. Good afternoon. My name is Dorin Ramaselele from Greater Litaba. Ramaselele. Ramaselele. Yes. I'm from Ramaselele. Gratao du Medisa we ta belwe bo di tshini mo. I like to greet the leadership in front of us. Mangakarena, our traditional healers, Batokamuka, and the entire community. Hey, Chairperson, Gradauli Lebo. Chairperson, I'd like to thank you. NHI can travel to Gamad. NHI is a good thing. Mara. But. Doctor, if you, if you still remember, it was maybe 2010, 2011. Nga Kareloro 2010-2011. Positive convention at Deben. We had a positive convention at Nerinali Positive convention at Deben. Yeah, people knew with HIV. Yeah, but to Baba Pilaroka, you know, HIV. NHI, I told me today. NHI is not a new thing. It's, it's, I told me today. It's not a new thing. Maybe community members, they don't know about it. Mutomong, but to us, Chabanga, it's a bit our government is failing us. Why should you rebel NHI today? Because a level from our communities, 
the provinces service delivery is very much poor gore re tla ba le nhi le ngono ka re le lebelela di provinceng phetisetso ya ditirelo ya fokola people with hiv they still have shortage of arvs but ba phela go ka yona hiv ba sa sokola yona taba ya di arv ga ba natjo like my myself i'm living with hiv openly for 24 years na ka bonna ke na le bona bolotsi bo ke phetse ka bona mengwa ge masomepedi nne the suspect ja ja tb aba access in hiv but to baba those people who diagnose me cannot find they cannot reach this nhi eh uh, this isonite iso the, the, the into treatment ya utibela tb the medication that is used to prevent tb even there is a shortage of condoms le di condom le tsona di a hlayela what about the infrastructure ka modi ka modi clinic ni ka di petela batho ba modi even the infrastructure in clinics in hospitals last sunday i was admitted at khapane hospital beke sonda ga se sitile go ke tsene sepetele sa khapane i don't know it was like i don't know it's an animal farm di gulubeni so uh it's it looked like a pig sty just because i don't have medical aid mara ke re ke a tsaba re tshwanjo re ye ka mola re khono access a di 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 services i know that even though i don't have a medical aid i still have to go there in order to access services eh uh, my chairperson le bo eta pele ba ka members of parliament now your person and members of parliament and now the entire leadership the big springbok le tla ka ta be kgolo jwale le ra re di ele nyaka re ka mara this ya nhi le nyaka re department of health it's one le s o m and also the s a a na do you want this uh, department of health to look like the s a a and s o m a ke kwa chairperson i i i mention a issue ya budget u re nhi e tlo khosa bokae i didn't hear the chairperson mention the issue of budget as to how much is this nhi going to cost even the nhi eh uh, at limpopo it was piloted at vembe but it fails nhi e mo limpopo e thomile vembe fela ya palela at that time i was working a treatment action campaign it was 2009 gebe ile ile ka 2009 gebe re ke la yona action campaign tac na i don't support nhi ga ke thekhe na nhi ya lebo thank you eh ndi masiyare ndi khota ma u lumelisa mudzula chidulo good afternoon i want to greet the chairperson na varumela ba parliament and the delegation from parliament na vhuranga phanda hote una ba vukati ya vhorwine and the leadership amongst us rekolibwa opportunity chinoni We thank you for the opportunity provided to us. Eh ndisa twamba ndi to tamanga u move or then now ndi ko tikedza NHI before I proceed I will confirm that I am supporting the NHI. Ndi muhumbro wa bodi it is a good idea. Eh as usual eh varanga phanda va South Africa. As usual the leadership of South Africa. Ri na mi humbro ya bodi we do have good ideas. And then problem i thomo ba hone mo se ri chi thoma ri chi ta implement the challenge comes when we want to implement and then we stuck then we stuck the apala ni hone ma swi nambo di wana opportunity mo se ro stuck a thoma u ita zo fi u lutha kana u chinyadza thereafter the enemy started to loot or destroy okay ndi chi apasi furthermore nhi inga shuma NHI can work better. And there ngai and there ngai tor ishume. We can make it happen. Problem in nga ba ndi nuno. The challenge which is there is focus ya vathu ba Africa chipembe ndi kadzi metro na kadzi city. The focus of South Africans are within the metros and cities. Varanga phanda vashu. The leadership our leaders when they talk about South Africans can be poor South Africans can be the working class our eyes are on the cities and on the metros 
or the townships which are next to the metros or cities. Then when, when we are planning this, maybe you can put the one who's we'll, we'll, we'll put a squad then above which we that Oh, I know you are interpreting for the community. Yeah, let me speak in English. Let, let me, let, I want to raise this, I want to submit this. You see, uh, in most cases, people who are in the rural areas, they are left outside the program. Ne? And then now, so the, N, the NHI, when we implement or when we roll it, it will benefit those who are in the cities, in the townships which are next to the cities, Bosoweto, Boguguletu are in Deben, Gauteng, and so on. Because here in the rurals, we don't have infrastructures. The specialist doctor, he won't operate uh, in a Mwazekuzeku. He, he won't like to go and operate there. And the people who are sick there, who need benefit of NHI, they can't get it because even now, from their local clinics, they can't get medication. From their local health centers, they can't get a doctor. So, No, then I thank you, uh, Chairperson. I can say so much to you. I was checking at this um, bill. National Health Insurance Bill. The majority of the people who are inside this hall can agree with me that now they are seeing this bill for the first time. Even, even that doctor, then I was seated next to him, he was seeing it for the first time. This, this process is public participation. Then the public does not have information. What we can say as public is say uh, we support NHI, even though we don't know the context and the details about it. Okay, we don't have infrastructure in the rural areas. We don't have capacity in the uh, 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 rural areas. We don't, we don't have staff in the rural areas. We don't have facilities, health facilities in the rural areas. One day I witnessed a person dying. Because that person was, uh, they were struggling to get a breath or something to put on the nostrils and the mouth of that person to, to breathe. We, we, we watch until that person die. As we are waiting for ambulance to take that person to where the uh, health practitioner or the doctors are, 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 are situated. As I have indicated, I support NHI for the sake of those who are poor even though they are in the suburb areas. But my appeal to the leadership or, or our leaders who are here, let us also open our eyes, our eyes. I pull in and then we also look at the people who are in a rural area. They have suffered for long. I don't think what, what we, are, we are presenting here, they, hence the whole is not 
It's, it's empty. I don't think they understand what's going on. Except those who are working for the government. They know what is a medical aid. They know what, what is the use of medical aid. So I'm appealing to the government. Let us uh, uh, help our community. Because we are the one who put you where you are. I don't know what drives you to implement some acts or some bills. We without the people. Thank you. I support NHI. Let us, let, let us try to get some program that maybe we can help or assist in a empowering those areas that rural areas that I'm complaining about. I funen I love into program letting a type funa ema tikoshka ya funa lava ni vile lakai mo. They don't have transport either. Abana abzona utleke itli. We can say okay, why can't they move to Zanin? They can get a, a specialist in Zanin, and NHI will help them in that uh, health center in Zanin. But they can't move to Zanin either. I'll be happy if the we can take this thing to the local. We do, we do any means to attract those uh, 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 doctors to operate in our local areas. By improving our local area. Infrastructure, and we, we, you know, because you are from those areas. He funeta le sagu e infrastructure le matikoshka i anza mastiwa na wemu mako le matikoshka. Thank you. Akens. Chogosan buko. I am Patricia Makwala from Gasuku Sikororo. I want to thank the opportunity that have been afforded us traditional healers. I say Tokozani Bugoko. We are very much dissatisfied. We've got a little problem that are as traditional healers. We have been trained. We have got uh, papers, qualifications. We know the difference between the truth and the lie. We, from time to time, we bring our grievances to the government, but the government seems to turn a blind eye to our grievances. Because, on the other hand, the lives of the people are being helped by us. They are in our hands. Uh, right now, I'm just making an appeal to the members of parliament as you are here to help us, please, because we don't see any progress. <clears throat> I thank you. Uh, I am Selina Mashilani. Mashilani from Gasukororo. Community clinic. Community clinic. Uh, the, the place where I'm staying is Pesimal. But I'm not happy to have a little bit of a I'm just here to thank you, to give thanks. Uh, 
I want to thank the government for, 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 for affording us an opportunity to be next to them. Because our forefathers died, uh, brut were brutally killed under the notion that uh, they, were, they, were, they were witches. Uh, right now, today, we, 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 we are doctors, recognized doctors. Uh, uh, I want the government to recognize us. We should be like uh, the, the, the chiefs and the councillors because we also have uh, qualification documents. I don't have much to say. I was just here to thank you. Refitile ma felelong a kopano ya rena monu holong ya lenyenye You will realize that uh, as members of parliament we come to such meetings to engage listen and take down what you are saying Le ta lema ga gore maloko a parliament a tle mo go ta go dula fase ba tla ba kwe sele se bolelang dilo tsa lena When I started I just highlighted what the bill is about, but the real work of assisting our citizens about the bill rests with the Department of Health. Yeah. We thank you for your participation. We thank you for your engagement with us. We are moving on to other uh, districts as of tomorrow and Monday. But I just need to comment on one thing which is coming up for most of the, some of the participants that uh, this uh, province has got five districts. We seem to have left out a water bag. Where we have not really covered, because it's going to happen in other provinces, I'm just thinking, taking this advantage because uh, this message is going to be carried to other provinces. We may not, let's go to KZN, it's got 11 districts. We can't have 11 meetings there. Uh, Eastern Cape has got 11 districts. Eastern Cape has got eight, eight districts. We will not cover all eight even there. Eastern Cape is not in a little bit of a swai. Really. Regas of honor, read the little bit of a swai. Honorable Matlow here, through NCOP and provincial legislatures, uh, will then see to cover areas that we might not have covered. So I can officially announce that these members on this table will not visit Waterberg in Lipopo. Yeah, I just thought I should mention that uh, 
it will be covered somehow through other colleagues. But there, we thank you and actually want to say in Department of Health that is here, you, I hope you did listen to some other issues either than the NHI, issues about service delivery, infrastructure, which is not in our domain to correct. It's your responsibility. Any other leader who would like to close our meeting officially by a prayer? Sungula, Nana Combelas of Wi Palamat Quero, Shkrumpsha Ina, Tata Hosena Yeso, Eranda Gukensa, Emma Kungwin Yunkwau, Laya Usi, Atwegana Munta. When Wanga Combelas of Gukungabekubula Vulantena, as we listen at the Kellas of Melela, Osia Tinsona and Quato, Logovan Vakar Babilela, Sulekule, Aba Entriban Fumulas of Sulaksuani, Bangam Bumburuk Banu, Silasas <laughs> Umelela, Scrubbinga Kensa Logos Umelela, Sussi, Famba Lavanata, Famba Baya Kule, Usala Lava Salaga, Tinsano, Naranzravena, Sivani, Quabo Lavanga Leni, Ayaso Creste, Amen.